An avid treasure hunter since he can remember, Ron Shore has put together what he believes is the world's greatest treasure hunt. It all started when his sister-in-law lost her battle with breast cancer. And this motivated Shore to come up with a unique way to raise money for the cause, and the treasure hunt was born. He joins me now in studio to tell us all about the exciting game. Welcome to the show, Ron. Good to see you. This is, uh, we've got, we've, we've got crazy uh, swords here. We've got this incredible, beautiful silver eagle. And I've got uh, this code box that we're going to talk about. Ron, you've got this incredible treasure hunting game that anyone can access yep. online. You've, you've launched this book. And uh, it's, it's really to raise money for breast cancer. First of all, let's take us into this idea. How did you first get this idea to do a treasure hunt? Well, to do a treasure hunt, I was six years old. And I put my finger into a jukebox and pulled out a dime, and I found my first treasure. Okay. <laughs> I was hooked for the rest of my life. No, because you, you've been uh, you, you've been a guy who's been engaged in all sorts of different activities. Mm -hmm. I, I know that you've been on the high seas, uh, yep. literally, uh, with I think whether the Canadian military is that right? Canadian Naval Reserves. Canadian yes. Re Naval Reserves, and you have a passion for shipwrecks and a passion mm -hmm. for history. And you pulled out all these experiences, and you said, "I want to write a book." that really gives people, it's like a game, exactly. to get people engaged in this idea of hunting for treasure. And the, the goal is a golden eagle similar to this, but it's worth over a million dollars. Correct. Okay, so take me in, what's involved in this treasure hunt? How does it work? Okay, well, it's, it's very simple, really. Uh, we, we wrote the treasure hunt book because we wanted everybody to get involved. Um, I, I tried to get on a number of, of different shows, and, and I couldn't get on. The Apprentice? Right. Yeah. You, like, you tried forever. I mean, you I, I, I auditioned 12 times, got shortlisted twice, but I never got on the show. Right. Right. You met a lot of great people. I right? met Donald Trump and a lot of other people, and it was great. I really enjoyed the experience. Right. But, you know, not everybody can get on those kind of shows, like The Amazing Race. I love The Amazing Race. Want to do it, but they, I can't. So you said I'm going to make an amazing race. I'm going to make an, something like the okay, Amazing Race, okay. exactly. So I wanted to create a create a book mm. that uh, anybody could could join and be able to raise money for breast cancer research as mm. well. So the, the principle that, that let me let me see if I can understand this. A person buys the book. Mm -hmm. The in here is clues for where there, there's seven eagles. Is that right? There's twelve, twelve solid silver eagles, and yeah. these are worth how much? About twenty thousand dollars each. Each, and so there's twenty of these. No, there's twelve of the Sorry, silvers. So twelve of these eagles, yeah. and there's, there's these certificates are hidden somewhere in the world. But everyone can by buying this book, you can access the online game. Really, it's an exactly. online game. So what so what happens is you go through the the book. There's a mm -hmm. there's codes and clues hidden throughout the book, and you go online to everybody gets their own treasure hunt journal online yeah and so you when you solve something you want to try it out did I get that right, right. so you enter it online and it'll tell you if you're correct or not and if you're well, correct Ron, I mean I, I've just kind of glanced through it I haven't read it yet but it, 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 there's elaborate codes and, and bizarre interesting uh, Sudoku games and I mean this is complex how did you get the resources to make something that uh, you know that that's going to be worth more than a million dollars well, uh, two parts. Two parts. The first of all, it's it, it's not really that difficult. Really. What we wanted to do is we wanted to create. We sat down with people who do video games and that kind of stuff. Yeah. We wanted to create something that was easy for people to do, because it's it's not fair if it's not easy and people don't get into right. it. We want people to be excited mm. about this. Right, right, right. And so the codes. We what we did is you've never if you've never done Morris code, we created a companion book for this. Huh. So it gives you all the codes and okay, clues right, that we right. use. Okay, right, right. This is the cracking the code. Book. Cracking the code. Okay, book. so you kind of need. It's helpful to have both books. Exactly. Okay. And that, so that makes it re really easy and fun. We wanted to make a family-friendly kind of fun book for everybody to read. Let me ask this: How long do you uh, expect this to take? Because in one sense, this book will go out of print and be useless after the prize is found. So how long That's does it right. take? Do you estimate it's going to take for, the, for someone to find this? Uh, we estimate somewhere between six months and three years. Could be three years. People could be looking? three years. And uh, wow, I mean, so as uh, obviously as the word gets out and people maybe one or two are fine, and do you need each one of these, uh, these 12 eagles to, to find the code for the next one? No, anybody can win one. Uh, you're limited to one silver one. Yeah. Or, or the gold eagle. So anybody can, w can win one or, or, or two. And this gold eagle that you're talking about, it, it's, it's really a piece of art. It's been uh, it's unbelievable. Tell me a little bit about this golden eagle that's worth over a million dollars. Well, it'll weigh almost 19 pounds of solid gold. Wow. It's got 55 carats of diamonds embedded in a pave setting on the head, 
two 1.1 carat pear-shaped diamonds in the eyes, but the most important part of it was the Atocha Star Emerald. The Atocha Star Emerald is located just in the base. Mm -hmm. it's, it started out at about 25 carats and was cut down to 12.73 carats. It's the largest cut emerald from the Atocha shipwreck, which sank in 1622. Wow. One of our sponsors was Mel Fisher's Treasures. And Mel Fisher's treasures, the story of the Atocha, it's the largest sunken Spanish treasure galleon ever found. Mm. They were one of our sponsors. And the reason why they came on board was both Mel and his wife, Deo, passed away from cancer. Wow. On, on Deo's deathbed, she's, she talked to her son and her grandson, who, who, who uh, supplied us with the emerald, and said, if Ron can raise money for cancer... I want him to have that emerald. What a piece. Of, I mean, that's, a, that's not only a piece of history, a treasure, but it, it's part of this a beautiful piece of art that you're obviously having crafted and put together. Exactly. So the idea is, I mean, let's say a 10-year-old kid, uh, you know, I'm just pretending, mm -hmm. he wins it. He doesn't necessarily go, I got this really cool eagle, kids. But, I mean, uh -huh. the idea would be that let's, uh, he want an art collector maybe mm -hmm. to eventually buy it for a lot of money, give mm -hmm. the winner the a million uh, dollars, and then take the other money and give to the cause of the charity. That's kind of the it, dream? It, exactly. We want to raise $100 million for breast cancer. $100 million for this game? For this game. And what happens is we've divided up, this is the first of four books. Mm -hmm. So from this book, we want to raise about $25 million. And the way we want to do that is we want a, a collector, somebody who's wealthy, who really mm -hmm. likes the eagle. We, we'd like to sell the eagle for somewhere around $8 million. That's wow. what we feel it's worth. Wow. And then take a million of that, give it directly to the winner, and then the rest of the money, 100% of the rest of the money goes directly to the foundation. Huh. And that'll give us $7 million to start. And then the sales of the book, we hope to raise That's the rest. Ama it's amazing passion and an incredible mind that has gone into putting this together on. Let's take a quick break. And I've got two major questions. One is, do you know where that winning thing is? If I tied you up right now, <laughs> could I force you to tell me? And secondly, what first got this passion for to raise money for breast cancer? I want to hear that story. Stick around here more with our guest, Ron Shaw, right after the break.